launch it. to go look at the Mustang that I won yesterday. I'm super pumped. This is gonna be interesting. What's that hanging from underneath? My fans are really gonna give me a heck. I got a Corvette and I got a Mustang. <laughs> the main thing you gotta look at on these cars is the strut towers. Um, a lot of times they'll rust out. It's got some rust on the floors. But... <laughs> hey man, turn your music up a little bit louder. <laughs> well, hopefully the third time's the charm. Third time for what? Spark plugs? Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. I've had three different sets today. Two of the sets have already had wrong plugs in every single one of the boxes. I'm not even kidding you. Where are you um, getting them from? AutoZone. Yeah. I've had my experiences with AutoZone. Yeah. I've never been good. No. Nope. I'm buying like advanced towels. Advanced Auto closes too early though. They're not actually timing just markings. Have to figure out what it likes. Just turn it. Yeah. What? Well, I mean, the timing sounds okay where it's at. Um, I tried advancing it a little bit and started to kind of shoot fireballs up. So we've got the Fox body home, and so far it looks like we have a lot of work on our hands. Yeah, we're trying to figure out. Um, what Mitchell has done with this car to make it shoot flames out of the carburetor. <laughs> and um, I'm guessing that the distributor is either 180 degrees out, which he says it's not, but I think there's probably a spark plug wire that's on the wrong post. Um, we're looking into that now. I'm not familiar with the Ford firing order, so I'm Googling what it is. Looks like I'm gonna have to start adding some tools to my collection. Thankfully, I had all the tools sent to me some stuff and I think they're gonna send me some more stuff. That way I have tools to put in my toolbox to work on my new build. Push reversible ratchet set and metric and these gloves. I actually really like these, these are really cool. Fire it up. Go ahead. Much better. Going back to Jags. <laughs> yep. I gotta get my wheels mounted, is that what it's called? The tires mounted the on tires your wheels. Mounted on your wheels. Hopefully pick up your shifter. Yeah. And we gotta get spark plugs and uh, something for Tommy's truck to address the matches. Yep.
coordinator belt when we get to the shop. Yeah. Get up some. Yeah. I'm excited. Now we gotta go pick up pick up my shifter. So while the boys are working out the shop, I'm running to Jake's place or Jake's performance to go pick up my shifter and let's see where I got off the list here. Shifter and the carb spacer. Left on Jags Boulevard. In 900 feet, you'll arrive at Jags Performance. So I just picked up my Pro 5 shifter and my spacer. So now we're going to head back to the shop and we're going to see what the guys are doing. In the intake? Yeah, so as you can see. <gasps> no. But how'd you do that? They literally put any pressure on them at all and they broke off. They had the wrong the wrong length bolts in there so it was leaking, like it was bottoming out against the thing. They were too long. Jesus. That's why it was leaking. Look at them. What are we going to go do? We're going to get an intake. Zach Becker has an old Parker, Parker Funnel Web intake. Never even heard of one until today. But apparently they're like pretty good intake for a 8-2 deck Ford. The thermostat housing was leaking. So I tried to repair it. Pull the thermostat housing off to put a new gasket on it. And both the, bro both the bolts broke off in the intake. So... We, we really need a different intake anyways in, in order to spray it with nitrous. So, um, you know, I got a hold of Zach, and he said he has that Parker Funnel Web, so we're going to go get that and put it on. Where's he at? So, quarter mile on the left. I heard the fastest stick shift Mustang in town lives right here. Oh, yeah. That ought to work. Uh, somebody said you just put some RTV around them and f send it. Yeah, probably. It's cleaned out and it's been a garage ornament for a while. It's all good. It's a lot better than the one that's on it. Yep. I feel like people are going to start seeing this car a lot more on YouTube. Did you get your shifter fixed? Yeah, I'm still waiting. It's coming right now. 
She just picked up a Pro 5 shifter. That's what it is. Hopefully she doesn't break hers. Did you see where that broke? The shifter? No. I drove it like that and won in the final. Oh my god. It's really difficult. <laughs> That's wild. America. Oh, there's that 347. Oh, yeah. That's still pretty fresh. Oh shoot, you're recording. <laughs> Hating on Mustangs. His car is They're really fun nice though. though, but they are very fun. That burnt orange color. That's just it's a nice color. <laughs> Instagram story. <laughs> what? Fifty dollar car, seventy five dollar <laughs> intake. Actually that intake's probably like a two hundred dollar intake. Yeah. I appreciate the deal. Kind of swap me. Yep. One good thing about Mustangs, there's parts everywhere for them. Not hard to find. Especially when you got some Mustang buddies. This 302 to the moon. Oh boy. We split the block in half. You ever seen people do that? No. That's what these do. Are you serious? Yeah. When they blow, they split the block in half. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I'd take those dinner plates off there. Yeah. Awful. I'm gonna get these caliper bolts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some hot shots on those.
my gloves. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Gosh. That's nasty. <laughs> that pen perfect I just gotta clean that off take this on there You spend late nights working on something like this, and then you finally end up racing and winning with it. It means that much more than when you just buy a car and win. Mm -hmm. You know, when you build it up and make it what it is, it means a lot. Yeah. I'm about to find out. It's a good process. But I think you're probably going to end up faster than me because this thing works. So we just bled the front brakes and Molly it seems to notice a huge difference. Oh yeah. The pedal feels a lot better. I don't think it had very much brakes before. Um, it, the pads look pretty rough. The calipers are rough. Um, they're probably honestly been on there for 20 years. This one, the back of it was stuck on it. Yeah, so it has good brakes now I think and we're going to test it out here soon. Really? Yeah, there was only one brake that was working, I feel like. Yeah. I could tell a huge difference in the pedal. You gonna put your center cap in? Ah, oh, f <laughs> <laughs> Go get it. It's over there somewhere. <laughs> Crazy what wheels will do for a car. Yeah. Wait till it's on the ground. Like new shoes. I feel like a car that looks like really crappy on the outside with good wheels makes it look gangster. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Molly spitting straight facts. Like Matt's car. What's oh, my got? my truck. I think it needs new wheels. It needs an update. Once uh, Matt got new wheels, I think his car looked a lot better. You just pulled in. Race. What's up? What up, bud? You guys know it's like 4 a.m., right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you don't understand that. Doing head rat stuff. I see that. What do you think of the Stang? I like it. So, now we are going on day three of the Mustang build and also day three of our trip to Jags. <laughs> um, I have a list of stuff that I need to get from Jags. Oh, it's blurry. But, and Billy's gotta pick up. A lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of stuff. We're gonna buy everything from Jags today. We're just gonna buy the whole store. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, how'd you get there so quick? Huh? You're, you're so quick. Aww, I can't even the door now. 
Man, coronavirus takes the fun out of everything. <laughs> So we're at Jegs for the what third time this week? Yeah. And now we are trying to get everything to sort out the nitrous system for the Mustang. We're gonna try and get it hooked up within the next day or so. Hopefully we'll be able to use it this weekend at some point and see how it runs. tweaking on the Mustang a little bit mm -hmm. and we're taking it for its first on, photo shoot. First time ever to take a picture with the Mustang. I'm How are you feeling? I'm excited. It feels good. I feel confident to drive it around now. <laughs> yeah. Whereas when we first got it, it was not in any shape whatsoever. We drove it. It's there. Yeah. We've been working on it. Shifting a pillow. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it was really weird. I think my Firebird shift is better than what was in this before. Okay, what? <laughs> what do you like the best about the Mustang so far? I think I like the way it looks. Like, the dash is cracked and paint's all messed up and it's got a white hood. I like the way it looks because it looks rough. Worry about as much. That too, like compared to my fire. <laughs> 